To find a polynomial of a given degree with given zeros, we got a couple zeros listed. We're going to have to do a lot of multiplying. So this video will be a little bit heavier on algebra, just multiplying. Um, but it's all right, we can do it. So it says find a polynomial f of x of degree 4. So if degree is 4, I need 4 zeros, right? So um, they gave me um, negative 1 first. It says negative 1 with multiplicity 2. So I can say negative 1 twice. So zeros are negative 1 and negative 1. And what are the other zeros? Negative 3 plus 2i. But remember from the conjugate zeros theorem, if negative 3 plus 2i is a 0, then its conjugate pair negative 3 minus 2i is also a 0. Look, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. With degree 4, that's all we need. So let's use these to find a polynomial. So we have to find f of x. So let's write these in factored form first. f of x equals x plus 1 another x plus 1. But you remember how to write these ones, right? I have to put these two in a binomial, or like a parenthesis, and do x minus negative 3 plus 2i. That's the third factor. And the fourth factor is going to be x minus negative 3 minus 2i. So, you know, they didn't really say simplify all the way. So did I find a polynomial f of x um, of degree 4? Mm, I did. It's just, it's in linear, it's in factored form. It's written in as a product of four linear factors. And I, when I checked out this homework problem on Alex, uh, yeah, I saw, I think they wanted you to multiply it out completely. So let us multiply this out. So here's my plan, okay? Take a look at my plan. I'm going to multiply these two, okay? I will do x plus 1 times x plus 2 using a regular FOIL method. And then I will multiply these two. I will do this long, you know, that's what we did on the previous video, how to multiply expressions involving complex conjugates. Um, after getting the answer from the red and the green, I will multiply the red and the green together, okay? So we are looking at three multiplication. I'll start with the one in red, okay? I'll start with one in red. If I multiply that, I will get, or FOIL this, I will get x squared plus 1x plus another 1x. Lastly, um, if I do one, 1 times 1, that is plus one but this green part this one right here oh it's gonna take me some work it's gonna take some room and time so let me copy this let me copy this down here and i will just use this using a, uh, a box method i'll go ahead and draw boxes to do this okay but first of all let me distribute distribute to get this second inner parenthesis away um, i get x plus three minus two i and I'll get x plus 3 plus 2i. I like to do my boxes. So if I do my 3 by 3 box, and here, um, if you want to do a different method, that's okay too. You can get the same answer. I have my x, 3, and negative 2i here. I have my x, 3, positive 2i here. Let me go ahead and multiply and find out nine different answers here. x squared, 3x negative 2i x. Second row, 3x, 9, negative 6i, you know, the, now the last row, 2i x, positive 6i, and the last one is challenging, so I would like to do that on the side. Take a look. I must now do um, negative 2i times positive 2i, okay? Negative 2i times positive 2i. That is negative 4i squared. We know that i squared is negative 1. Therefore, that turns into positive 4. Okay? Remember, i squared, remember, i squared is negative 1. 
All right, we're ready to combine some like terms now. Okay. Um, we'll, and we'll also cancel out the opposite. So negative 2ix cancels out with positive 2ix. 6i cancels out with negative 6i. And we have these like terms. I have 3x and 3x. And I have 9 plus 4. So if I, I multiply them out, I get x squared. Or I'll add them out, I will get x squared plus 6x plus 13. So this is, I should copy this. This is um, what this green part is. Okay. So let me simplify the first parenthesis. Okay. I will get x squared plus 2x plus 1. I need to multiply that trinomial by this other trinomial, which I, I'm going to need some room for this. All right, let me duplicate this and bring it down on the other page, okay? Um, all right, so I'm doing a trinomial times a trinomial. I'm going to do another box to multiply 3 by 3, or you can FOIL if you want. x squared, 2x, 1, x squared, 6x, and 13. All right, let me multiply. X squared times x squared is x to the fourth power. Okay, next I will get 2x to the third power because the exponents, if I add 2 plus 1, I will get 3. Um, last one on the first row is just x squared. Uh, second row, 6x to the third power, 12x squared, and 6x. I'm just doing this part a little bit quicker because I showed you how to do these box method in the previous one, right? 13x squared, 26x, and then lastly, 13. And if things worked out okay, we're going to see some like terms. Look, I have 6x cubed and 2x cubed. Those are like terms. And if you notice these three terms in diagonal, they're all x squared. So they will add up to, and the last row, do you see a diagonal? I can do uh, 26 plus 6 there too. So if I write out my final answer, yay! I will get x to the fourth. If I add up the cubic terms, I will get 8x cubed. If I add up the quadratic terms, 13 plus 12 plus 1, what's that going to be? 26x squared. Add up these linear terms. If I add 26 plus 6, I will get 32. And lastly, just write down your plus 13. I'm out of room, so all right, hold on. I just need to write down my plus 13 all the way at the end. This is how you can write and simplify. So writing part wasn't difficult, okay? Writing part was just identifying four real Z, oh, four complex zeros. Two of them are real, two of them are imaginary. And then writing them in a factored form. And after that, we just have to multiply by the similar kinds. And when we were done with the multiplication from the red and the green, we multiply those two together to get our final answer. So that is how you would do this type of problem. Definitely longer. Something that I don't think we should do in our head, right? Um, um, and, and you know what? That's it. That's it for section 2.4. Um, continue to work on your practice test practice test for your test one, which is coming up next week.